Great to see you back again, Scorpio. It's November 2018. Didici here from astrology.com.au. Um, to the new visitors here, welcome. Glad you've uh, stopped in. Hopefully I can uh, shed some light uh, from a different angle, uh, looking at astrology from a different perspective. Uh, last month we talked about Saturn and the way it actually constricts and creates hindrances in life and how if you work with that planet and don't resist the lessons that it has to offer, how you can actually begin the process of expansion. But actually there's a planet that's specifically given the role of uh, expansion, that is Jupiter. And I want to talk about Jupiter today. And for you, Scorpio, it's particularly important given it is transiting through your sun sign right now. And of course, if you know your rising sign or your lunar sign, and that happens to be Scorpio, you can apply some of what I'm suggesting here today to you. Now, Jupiter, I think, has come at a time when you require an expansion of self-confidence. For some of you, there may be a second guessing, a reevaluation of who you are in terms of the context that you're in. I'm not talking about the work. I'm not talking about uh, your friends. I'm just talking about you yourself and how comfortable you feel with yourself. Of course, you have to understand the significance of identity uh, and you have to identify yourself with the right aspect of your nature. We have a habit of identifying with the masks, the conditioned self that is subjected to a family, society, religion, education, all of these things that are more or less a fabrication, an overlay on who we really are. So naturally, if what we've built up as an identity is on a flimsy foundation or a foundation that's not actually true, you know, the cultural values, religious beliefs, all of these things are constantly changing. So there you go. You, you, you build up a rock solid concept of who you are. And then all of a sudden the fad changes, the scene changes. What was once flavor of the month is no longer flavor of the month. And then perhaps you're no longer popular or, you know, you don't feel as if you fit. You don't know whether this is what you want to do anymore. So that, that whole process of doubt starts to undermine all of your efforts. And so Jupiter's return to this part of your horoscope, your sun sign, the sign of Scorpio, is positive to start with. But as I said to uh, Libra in the previous video I've just done, um, Expansion can take place positively or negatively. So it's important that you don't focus on what's wrong. Because it's easy to expand that. I've got to be honest with you. I, I, I had this same problem. We've been doing some renovation here and uh, I've had two or three builders here. You're not going to believe it. A leak in the ceiling has cost me around seven thousand dollars because i had a bunch of buffoons here who didn't know the first thing about fixing things um so yes there's been a big expense there but you know i've been harping on this for some time and it was only recently i realized that you know the new builder who's a great builder um i'd asked him to fix the leak and obviously i was very apprehensive came into the office here for uh, 10 or 15 minutes, went back out and the whole thing was fixed. It had been sitting there like that for, for ages. And I'd realized that I was expanding 
my attention to a problem that was this big. So the notion of expansion um, can be applied to anything. You can expand your attention to something that is positive or you can expand your attention to something that is negative. And that goes for your own self. So when I started the reading talking to you about um, revising your self-image, the question is, what are you focusing on? You're focusing on the minuscule leak in the roof. Yeah, it caused some trouble in the past. By the way, my leak is fixed now, I'm happy to say. Things are fixable, but just expanding and, and nitpicking over a little problem is not solving the problem. So here's the, here's the deal. If you've got a problem in yourself, in a circumstance around you, it's imperative to do what can be done. And then once you've done everything you can do, you have to leave it alone. You have to bring your attention to those things that are going to be of value. You need to focus on gratitude. You need to focus on appreciation. You need to look at what you have rather than what you don't have. So this expansive process being in your sun sign now has a lot to do with yourself. Because there's no doubt you may have been feeling part of your nature confident in expanding to the next level, becoming the best you can. But then, of course, there's that little scratchy feeling inside that's always dragging you down, pulling you back, holding you down in terms of focusing on those nuances of your nature, your personality, that you don't particularly like. So it's okay to sort that out. It, it, it has to happen. But don't dwell on it. Don't, don't be like a dog at a bone. Don't expand your awareness there. Focus it in the right area and at the appropriate time, in whatever capacity you have, deal with that problem and eliminate it. Venus is now also in this vicinity of Jupiter. Venus for you is the marital planet. It's the planet of love, romance and generally the public. So there's going to be a lot more activity there. And your awareness is going to be expanding to those sorts of things. So again, I repeat, when you're interacting with people, when you're negotiating with people, try to bring your energy to the positive in the, situ in the scenario. Um, sure, there'll be some problems, some weak points. Just let that recede into the background. That positive, expansive, upbeat approach is what's going to bring you the success that you're looking for in the remaining part of this transit of Jupiter through your sun sign of Scorpio. I'm hoping you'll be here next month. Don't forget to pop in at astrology.com.au. Drop a note. I've got a few nice people. That, thank you for dropping your notes in. I appreciate that. It's nice to know some of you are gaining something from this. If you're new, again, please, I hope you'll come back again. Um, and at the site, there's lots of other accessory um, information there that will help you piece together the jigsaw of your life. Take care. Bye-bye now.